When thinking of the greatest villains in horror, so often the mind goes to Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, Leatherface, Dracula, The Wolfman, and the like. For female characters in the genre, some of the most notable are survivors such as Laurie Strode, Sidney Prescott, Nancy Thompson, and various forms of the classic final girl trope. However, horror has delivered so many brilliant female villains over the decades. Not just brilliant, but utterly brutal, hauntingly chilling, and the sort of character who have you fearing every dark corner of your house. So with that in mind, I'm Andrew from What Culture Horror, and here are the 10 most terrifying female horror movie villains. Number 10, Annie Wilkes, Misery. 1987 novel Misery was Stephen King's reaction to a couple of things. Firstly, parts of his fan base rejected his The Eyes of the Dragon fantasy story for not being horror, leaving King feeling like he was forever tied to the horror genre despite wanting to try other things. Secondly, King was dealing with drug and alcohol addiction at the time, and he's since described Annie Wilkes as his drug problem, his biggest fan. With a phenomenal Academy Award winning Kathy Bates bringing Annie to life, the 1990 movie focuses on author Paul Sheldon and his obsessed number one fan, the eccentric nurse that is Annie Wilkes. When Sheldon is involved in a near-fatal car wreck, Annie saves him and promises to nurse him back to health, only for things to take a turn when Annie learns that her favourite character, Misery, is killed off in Sheldon's latest manuscript. Desperate for the author to rewrite his new novel, Annie takes things to the extreme, including that ankle smashing scene. Annie is clearly a troubled individual, struggling with isolation and loneliness, but she's still nevertheless a villain, if not a mildly sympathetic one. Number 9. Pearl, X and Pearl. Played by the wonderful Mia Goth, Pearl, whether in her younger days or her elderly final days, is quite the menace. Given how we've seen the youthful Pearl kill her own parents, and the older Pearl terrorising a group of adult filmmakers, chances are the character carried on her killing spree between those two appearances, meaning she's been up to no good for somewhere around 60 years, which is a solid amount of time to amass quite the body count, or with her husband Howard helping Pearl in her twisted ways. Even more convenient for Pearl and her hubby, they have their own pet alligator that helps get rid of certain dead bodies should the need arise. Whether flying solo or working with Howard, Pearl is forever a deranged and brutal figure. Number 8. Asami Yamazaki Audition Takeshi Miike has quite the reputation for bringing twisted tales and sights to the screen, and few movies are quite as twisted as his 1999 adaptation of Audition. Shigi Haru is a widower whose son and friend encourage him to hold a mock audition for his new wife. Enter Asami Yamazaki, a sweet, polite, talented, attractive young woman who Shigaharu becomes smitten with. Things are seemingly going all so well for these lovebirds. Well, until none of Asami's backstory can be traced. We see that she's previously kept a footless, finger-missing man in her apartment, a man who she feeds her vomit to no less, yes really. And before the end of the movie, we see Asami drug Shigiharu, inject him with a paralytic agent, stick needles in his eyes, and chop off his foot before Shigiharu's son arrives to save the day. And you thought Tinder was bad for dating. Number 7. Baby Firefly – The Devil's Rejects Mama Firefly is a fairly sinister and shady figure herself, but it's baby Firefly who gets the nod here for the fact that Mama was killed off halfway through Rob Zombie's The Devil's Rejects. For baby, or Vera Ellen Wilson as is her birth name, she somehow managed to survive the explosive finale of that film, living to fight another day in 3 from hell. On a good day, baby is a playful, curious and mischievous free spirit. On a bad day, she's a totally insane murderer who takes great delight in causing all manner of chaos and carnage, a little like a truly R-rated Harley Quinn, as she sculpts, dismembers, and uses all of her charms to get her own way. If seen anywhere near an ice machine, immediately walk the other way from baby. Tutti effing fruity indeed. Number 6. Tiffany Valentine – The Child's Play Franchise not introduced until the fourth Child's Play movie, Tiffany Valentine may well be an even more popular character than Chucky himself. Played by the ever-brilliant Jennifer Tilly, Tiff isn't quite as all-out crazy as Chucky, but she's not far off, managing to forever steal the show, whether that's in Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, Curse of Chucky, Cult of Chucky, or the fantastic Chucky TV series. And likewise, whether Tilly is playing Tiffany or playing a skewed version of herself, you do find yourself rooting Tiff on. You do side with her when she and Chucky are butting heads. But don't get it wrong, Tiffany is a terrifying killer who loves to indulge in 
plenty of bloody, brutal murder. Number 5. Wilma Northup, Creepshow While the rest of the characters in this video are murderers, evil spirits, or crazed lunatics like Annie Wilkes, Wilma Northup of Creepshow fame has a slightly different reason for being included here. The title of this video is about the most terrifying women in horror, and for her poor husband Henry, Wilma, as played by the iconic Adrienne Barbeau, is a truly terrifying, constantly berating figure. Wilma, or Billy as she likes to be called, is just awful. For meek old Henry, he's abused all day, every day, told he's not good enough, mocked at every turn, and Wilma also isn't shy of obnoxiously abusing friends or even total strangers. So broken down by Wilma is Henry, he regularly fantasizes about killing her, but doesn't go through with any of those fantasies, of course. Well, until he's made aware of a mysterious crate that's holding a toothy creature with a taste for human flesh. Number 4. Julia Cotton, The Hellraiser Franchise Maybe it's because Pinhead and his Cenobites grab so much attention, but Hellraiser's Julia Cotton is somewhat of an underappreciated villain. In the first movie, Julia not only had an affair with Frank, her husband Larry's brother, but she seduced other men so that Frank can take their souls as part of the process to rebuild his body. Of course, Frank had been reduced to a ghoulish, gooey shell of himself after solving one of the franchise's infamous puzzle boxes. Added to this, Julia is also perfectly fine with Frank killing her stepdaughter, as in Frank's niece. That'd be Hellraiser Faye favorite Kirsty Cotton, who'd survived that attack and lived to fight another day in Hellbound Hellraiser 2, a sequel where the dead Julia now essentially rules Hell, and her skinless form is back to torment Kirsty and hoover up more souls. Number 3. Pamela Voorhees Mrs. Voorhees could earn a spot in this video purely due to those eerie times her weathered, severed head has made an appearance in the Friday the 13th franchise. But to go back to the original movie, Pamela Voorhees is of course the person behind that film's roaring rampage of revenge. And yes, while you can understand how a mother could be driven insane by the grief of losing her son, Mrs. Voorhees obviously takes things to the extreme here, killing nine people throughout the first Friday the 13th. Not just is that a very solid body count from Pamela, there's also a nice amount of variety in her kills, from stabbings to throat slicings to a camera to the face and even some impressive imaginative bow and arrow skills. She may have only been alive for one movie, well unless you count the opening sequence of Marcus Nispel's solid 2009 remake, but Pamela Voorhees certainly made a lasting impression on the genre. Number 2. Mommy, The People Under The Stairs while many rightly praise the likes of Scream and A Nightmare on Elm Street, or even The Hills of Eyes and The Last House on the Left, one Wes Craven film that doesn't get the mainstream props it deserves is 1991's The People Under the Stairs. The rogues at the center of this picture are the Robesons, a supposed mother and father duo who are actually an incestuous brother and sister who have a bunch of cannibalistic kids locked in their basement. As well as these long-suffering, mutated children, the couple also have another child, Alice, who lives a more normal life due to having not broken the see-no-hear-no-speak-no-evil rule that saw the others stuffed down in the basement. By the time the people under the stairs comes to an end, we learn that Alice was actually stolen from her birth mother, and that mommy and daddy have been stealing kids for years. Not to mention the small fact of the Robesons buying rundown rental property, hiking up the rent, and then trying to evict the locals and sell the land off to big businesses. So not cool, man. When you've managed to turn so many kids into outright cannibals, you absolutely warrant a spot on this video. Number 1. Kayako Saiki Juan The Grudge To be fair, you could fill this video with villains from the realms of Asian horror pictures, and with Sadako and Ring having been featured a lot in our recent videos, it's time for Kayako Saiki and Juan to take the spotlight for a change. Including sequels, prequels, remakes, and a Ring crossover, Kayako has caused all kinds of terror in over 10 movies so far, probably with many more to come still. Sure, there have been a few tweaks and changes to the character over the years, but the general crux is that Kayako and her son Toshio were killed by her husband Takeo in a murder-suicide. As a result, these spirits are tied to the family home, destined to spend eternity haunting and killing all who visit the property. Making her even more of a threat, the three can even stalk those who simply know somebody who's visited that house. There's the twisted body movements, the blood-curdling vocals, and the sheer fact that Kayako can appear pretty much anywhere if needed. Yet, that makes her one of the most terrifying villains the horror genre has ever, ever seen.